Hey guys, I'm the Crazy Dane, and ever since the fall patch, I had to refamiliarize myself with a lot of the weapons in Battlefield 4, and especially my favorite guns. I've always used the AR 160 assault rifle at almost any point in the game ever since the Naval Strike DLC came out because it was more or less my favorite weapon. I loved the sound, I loved the way that it handled, I loved everything about it, the way it looked uh, as well. And since the patch I I had to remaster it. I had to familiarize myself with the new recoil pattern because this has gotten a huge buff and change in this recent patch. The Horizontal recoil has been reduced by more or less half. It went from 0 0.5 to uh, 0 0.23 vertical recoil. And even though the side-to-side -side recoil have had a tiny nerf from 0 0.2 up to 0 0.3, um, this gun is a beast now. The bullet spread has been decreased as well for moving, standing, not moving it's it's totally totally different from before so i had to figure out what kind of new attachments i had to use if i had to change any at all and i found after gaming with this rifle for quite some time that after these changes i could basically do without the muscle break which have been nerfed as well and without the angled foregrip so now I'm running with the flash hider and in some cases the silencer depending on the situation, the game mode and so forth. And then the ergo grip because I love to move around. I know that might not be the best thing to do at some some encounters but that's more or less what I do. And I have to say in the beginning it was quite hard getting to know the new time to kill. I was used to putting three or four bullets into the target and moving on after a certain amount of time, but now it's it takes a bullet more, but it's not that different once you get to know this new system. And ever since I got to know the new recoil pattern and how this gun performed now, I've been able to go on some amazing kill streak as well. I've had tons of fun because I feel like this patch is how Battlefield 4 should have been a year ago when it was released. But I guess better late than never and I hope that they that dice have learned something from this. And back to the weapon. Um before this patch it was quite hard to use. You really had to take the high vertical recoil and compensate for it. But I didn't see a lot of people using it because the M416 was easier to use, it had a higher RPM and it was just overall better than the AR160. Now I think that the tables have turned and that this gun is actually in some cases better than the M416. Maybe not as much in close quarters as the M416 has a bit higher rate of fire and its reload speed is quite a lot faster than the AR assault rifle. Though I'd still recommend you to not use this gun in close quarters and stick to medium to long ranges and you really have to be precise with your shots. But that isn't really that difficult with this weapon as it's just way better now in this patch. But I am going to try out different assault rifles. I need to figure out if I've got a secret soulmate hiding for me somewhere. I don't know, it might be one of the guns that I haven't really used. Maybe the FAMAS, maybe the AEK or the F2000. I don't know. I'm just going to try out tons of different weapons and see which one I like and which one I'll use in different scenarios. I tend to keep only two types of weapons that I cycle between and that is more or less due to the fact that sometimes it's big and open maps so I need a semi medium or low rate of fire weapon to deal with the longer ranges because that's more or less my playstyle 
but then again as an assault I tend to well ever since I tried out the AEK I started to use it in close quarters because it had a high rate of fire and it was overall just better for close quarters so that's how I go about it I like to have one to take out targets at long range and then one for close range that's how I like to divide it so I'm going to try to figure out if I've gotten some new secret love hiding for me I don't know but I need to find out the only downside to this patch is that now I have to re-familiarize myself with all of the new weapons but it shouldn't be that big of a deal because I'm actually quite enjoying this new system a lot this is the best thing that has happened to Battlefield 4 since the release and I'm looking forward to the next uh, big patch coming from the CTE initiative um, team play looking forward to some of the changes and I'm excited to see what they'll come up with and that was about it for this time guys leave a comment below and don't forget to check out g2a.com slash r slash crazy gaming for cheap games and I'll see you in the next one